Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Unbound Learners. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. Did you do anything fun and exciting? That sounds like so much fun. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? We put our arms out in a circle like this, raise them up high, and back out in front. Will you sing with me? Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Let's move on to our calendar and weather chart. Do you remember what month it is? Say it with me. December, today is the 14th and the year is 2020. So the last time that we met on Friday, it was December 11th, but then it was the weekend. So it went from the number 11 to the number 12. After 12 comes 13, and today is the 14th. We'll put our chip right on the number 14. Will you count with me? Let's see those counting fingers. Wiggle them like this. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and today is the 14th. So we say December 14th, 2020. And some of you may know a very special day that occurred on Friday. Do you know what the, do you know what that day was? On Friday, it was the first night of Hanukkah. So if you celebrate Hanukkah, I hope that you had a fun weekend celebrating the first nights of Hanukkah with your family. Let's sing the Days of the Week song. Will you sing it with me? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If yesterday was s -s -s Sunday, what does that make today? Do you know what today is? M -m That's right. Today is Monday, the first day of the week. And that means that tomorrow is yes. Tomorrow is Tuesday, but today is Monday. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday all day long. Let's move my pointer stick up to the top, boop, 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 boop. And even though it doesn't feel like it, it is still fall. Soon the season will change from fall, and after fall comes, do you know? Winter. Soon the season will change from fall to winter. Speaking of winter, guess what I saw outside of my window when I woke up today? Do you have any idea? Look at this picture. Do you see what it is? It's snow. So let's sing our weather song. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Look at this. It's snowing at my house. So that means that the temperature is very cold out. Is it cold and snowy at your house? 
Will you be able to play outside later? That sounds like fun. And because it's a new week, that means that we have a new letter to learn. I have a new letter of the week written on my board. Do you have any idea as to what sound this letter makes? This letter says, ah. Can you say that sound with me? Ready? Ah. Hmm, I wonder what letter this is. <gasps> That's right. This is the letter A. This is a lowercase a, and it says, ah. I wonder what I'll find in my number and letter box today. Are you ready for your first hint? Okay, this is a type of fruit. It's very sweet to eat and it makes a crunching sound when you take a bite. This fruit can come in all different types of colors, like red, green, yellow, sometimes even a pinkish color. It grows from a tree. <gasps> Look at this. This is an apple. An apple starts with the letter A. A is for apple. <gasps> and look, I have a new number on my number board this week. Do you know what number this is? You're right. This is the number three. Can I hold, can I see you hold up three fingers? One, two, three. The number three. Hmm. I wonder what we'll find inside. <gasps> Look at that. One, two, three twigs. These three twigs fell from a tree. One, two, three. This month, we're talking about different types of animal habitats. Do you remember what the word habitat means? You're right. A habitat is a natural environment where specific plants and animals live. Do you remember the type of habitat that we talked about last week? We talked about jungles. Jungles are warm and tropical places with lots of vegetation and different types of animals. But this week, we are going to be talking about colder animal habitats, also called polar habitats. Now look what I have here. Watch what this can do. Are you ready? Look at that. It can spin around. Do you know what this is called? This is called a globe. A globe is an example of the planet Earth. And the planet Earth is where we live. It spins around just like the planet Earth. Now, at the top of our planet, we have the North Pole, also called the Arctic. And at the bottom, we have the South Pole, where we find Antarctica. Now both places, the North Pole and the South Pole, are very cold and icy because there's not a lot of sunlight there. But there are some differences between the Arctic and Antarctica. For example, at the top, the Arctic area, it's the Arctic Ocean which is water surrounded by land. And at the bottom, where we find Antarctica, this is land surrounded by water. Another main difference 
is that at the top in the Arctic, there's more there are more there are more types of animals up here because there's land surrounding the ocean so the animals can migrate. But at the bottom, there's fewer animals. Animals like penguins and seals and whales, they make their home down here. Now, both places, even though they're cold and snowy and have long winters, there's also some short summers there. We'll talk more about the North Pole later this week. But for now, let's talk about the South Pole, specifically Antarctica, where you can find different types of penguins. Look who I have visiting us today. Do you see this soft little friend? What kind of animal do you think this is? You're right, this is a penguin. But it's not just any penguin. This is an emperor penguin. And this is a baby emperor penguin. Baby emperor penguins are called chicks. I wanna tell you a little more about emperor penguins. When the mother lays an egg, she places the egg right on top of the dad's feet. Now other birds will build a nest to keep the eggs warm and then the mother will sit on the eggs until they hatch. But in Antarctica, there's not a lot of materials that penguins can use to build a nest. So instead, the egg will stay right on top of the dad's feet and he'll keep it warm while the mother goes out to sea. Now she'll stay out there for a couple of weeks and fill her belly with lots and lots of fish. And when she comes back, right before the egg hatches, she brings all the fish to share so when her baby hatches, she can feed the baby. And then the mother even has a little pouch where the baby can sit and stay warm, similar to a kangaroo. As you can see, penguins have wings, but these wings are not meant for flying. Even though penguins are birds, they don't fly. So how do you think a penguin gets around? That's right, penguins can waddle on their feet like this. They have to make sure that they go very slowly because it's very slippery and icy where they live. They can also slide on their bellies. Penguins are also excellent swimmers, so they use their wings instead of flying to help them paddle and swim underwater. Are you ready to do a fun slippery sliding activity? Make your arms into penguin wings and flap them like this if you're ready. All right, little penguins, let's go. For today's work, you will need a baking sheet, a straw, and several pieces of ice. Place the ice on one end of the baking sheet. Then take your straw and blow through it as you slide the ice from one end of the baking tray to the other. Try and move all of the ice to the other end of the baking tray by blowing through your straw. Let the races begin. Welcome back to Circle Time. Today we learned about a new animal habitat called a polar habitat. We talked about the North Pole and the South Pole. The North Pole is also known as the Arctic and the South Pole at the bottom is called Antarctica. Now, do penguins live at the North Pole or at the South Pole? Very good! Penguins live in the South Pole. We'll talk more about the different types of animals that live up north in the Arctic later on in the week. Remember, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and get a new video that is posted every weekday morning. Thanks for learning with me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's sing one more goodbye song. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, 
Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends. See you tomorrow. To prepare for tomorrow's ice cap, you'll need a cup of water, some blue food coloring if you have it, and a spoon. If you're using the food coloring, add one or two drops to the water. Then give the cup a quick stir. Once the color is mixed together, pop the cup into the freezer for a couple of hours and it will be ready for tomorrow's activity.